be surprised. I have the first to enter the day. That is why I just realized that even if on this text we are nothing, and if you are alive, you have the chance to be in the presence of the Lord, you have to give honor and glory to His name. Amen. Now, okay, this morning, uh, I would like all of us to be our soul and go with me. Malachi 3, verse 8. We are all going to read. We are all going to read. So take your book and let us read your Bible. 3, verse 8. Who is there? Okay. That's what you have. Roman, Rob. You see that this is the question. In our various schools, Sometimes we listen to our parents and you question us, will you even do this to me? Have we come to realize why is this so? Because he is suffering to bring us out. That is why God has asked this question. Will the man of God, we know God is the creator of this universe and all that he is in And he has blessed us with some possessions. God has used these possessions to improve or to make the ways of his work. But the fact is that I mean, we always carry the powers. So this one, God said, I'm sorry to all of us, that we are taught that the level that he said we should bring it, we should get it, and we see what he will do to us. I don't want to wait my time. God bless us, and let us be the best of what he has given us to be. Amen.
the high order of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. The ambassador's focus. If you have a camera, most of you are using very good phones. Okay, I don't think the iPads are so But those are using very good phones. You know, you have a way of focusing on the subject. How do you know that? This is the first one's have portrait room. Where you see the diagram blank, right? And then the subject is focused and makes the picture so beautiful. If you are not the person who is beautiful when you take the picture. Now that is called focus. What he's doing now is focusing on single subject. So he blacks out the ones that he does not want to appear in the picture. In the same way, when you are an ambassador for Christ, there is something that is your focus. The only thing is are out. Now, in life, if you want to put a master's aside, in life, if you want to succeed at anything, if you first of all need to establish the purpose, why am I doing this? On campus, especially those who have been joined at the president, if you want to succeed, you first of all need to know why you are here. Because when you know why you are here, it helps you to focus on that purpose. And a lot of us have a, a different understanding of investigation. So we see them doing other things. But when you really know why you are here, you focus on that. When somebody is involved in athletics or when they are the rich force that they are running, the one who wins is the one who is well focused. Why is that important? Because knowing what to focus on helps you to know how to prepare. Did you get that? Knowing what to focus on helps you to know how to prepare. If you don't know what to focus on, you don't know what you must do to prepare for that. So what is the ambassador's focus? I am an ambassador for Christ. You are an ambassador for Christ. What is your focus? Is it going to check every Sunday? Is it the right to come in and add an addition? What is the ambassador's focus? The apostle of Jesus is asked in verse 14 of the living of the day. In the sports of the people say that I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. See the high calling. The high calling. The high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Paul says, No, it's not like I have gotten there in this. It's not like I have made it to the point. But what I do is that I bless. The unnecessary things, and I zoom in and I focus on one thing, and that thing is the price, and that price it is the high call of God in Christ Jesus. Dear yeah. friends, this is more the ambassador's focus that God wants us to know is that we have been called by God. The price it is the high call of God. You see, when Jesus Christ came into this world, Christ gave us an opportunity on how human beings we should live or how these people we should live. There are two ways. You have the way of the world that is in the broad way. Then you have the way of the world that is in the narrow way. Christ called us to follow him in the narrow way. When we follow Christ in the narrow way, what we do is that we forsake all other groups. And we surrender everything to him and to him. And so the upward world of God in Christ Jesus is to be right higher and to lead the kind of life that Christ lives in this world. Would you say that again? Amen. Now, another thing I want us to understand is that ambassadors are those who have been called by Christ. Ambassadors are those who have responded to the calling of God. That's 
is come. We are responding. Now, once we are responding, we need to declare all other things that focus on that response, on that point. And that is the point. All other things have to be declared. All other things, and I mean all other things, have to be declared. Because in that order is what makes your life well within. In that order is a package. It is what gives you victory in everything in this world. When you are focused on that world, all other things will fall in the right place. I can give myself as an example. When you accept this world, Christ makes sure that I can be a known that man. When you accept this world, he makes Because their lifestyle is not in conformity with the call. 
ready so much in here. Is there any parts that you need help? Ask the Lord to help.
that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord will satisfy the plan over you and with him grant you peace every day of your life. The Lord favor you with all that you do. And he filled with his Holy Spirit that you will remain faithful for him. The God grant you his presence all the days of your life so we say again. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.